Welcome to Marine Gurukul video series. We are pleased to bring this video in which we shall learn about the ship's draft, the draft markings, and the reading of ship's draft. What is ship's draft? We know a ship floats on the basis of law of flotation, which is nothing but a simple corollary of the Archimedes principle wherein the weight of the ship acting downwards is in equilibrium with the force of buoyancy acting upwards. And what is force of buoyancy equal to? It's equal to the weight of the water displaced. And the weight of the water displaced for an intact ship whose underwater hull is intact is equal to the underwater volume of the ship multiplied by the density of the water in which the ship is floating. So therefore, the underwater volume of the ship's hull depends on the ship's displacement. More the displacement, more would be the sinkage. Lesser the displacement, lesser would be the underwater volume. And as the underwater volume of the ship's hull increases or decreases, the depth of the ship's hull below the water line also keeps changing. The draft is the measure of the depth of ship's hull below the water line or the water surface. As you can see in this diagram, we have the water line shown by this blue uh, water. And what do we see? The depth of the ship's hull below the water line is what is called as the draft of the ship. Yes, draft is the depth of the ship's hull below the water line. But is it same at all points of the hull? No. The draft at different points of the ship may be different because of ship's inclination with respect to water surface, that is trim, the longitudinal inclination, and list the transverse inclination. So if the vessel is inclined with respect to the water surface, that means the keel is not parallel to the water line, the drafts at different points will be different. The draft could also be different in ships because of the rake of the keel or the keel rake. We have learned this term keel rake in one of the earlier videos where the keel instead of being horizontal may be at a certain angle and if it is so obviously then even if the deck is parallel to the water line because of the inclination of the keel the draft at different points would be then different how do we get to know the draft the draft of the ship is read off from the draft markings which are on the outer side of the hull so from outside the ship on the outer side of the ship we have the markings of the ship's hull and those from those markings the draft can be read off in present day ships the markings are in meters and decimeters earlier ships had markings in feet and inches that's history now and the present day ships have markings in meters and decimeters draft markings are at six locations why because we just said that drafts need not be same at all points of the ship so the draft markings are located at forward end both port and starboard side after end, both port and starboard side, and midships, port and starboard. So the three locations, forward, aft, and midships along the length, take care of change of draft along the length, and the port and starboard markings at all these three locations take care of change of draft because of any transverse inclination that is the list. The drafts are red on the two sides and averaged. That means at the forward end, the port and starboard drafts are red. You take the average and that becomes the draft forward. Likewise, average of the port and starboard drafts aft becomes the draft aft. And average of port and starboard drafts midships becomes the draft midships. Now, technically, the draft marks at the forward end are supposed to be at the forward perpendicular 
and the draft marks at the after end should be at the after perpendicular likewise the draft midship draft marks should be amidships however because of the shape of the bow where you have the rake of the bow and you have the shape of the stern it is usually not possible to exactly have these draft markings at the two perpendiculars also amidships of the ship we have the load line marks therefore the midship draft marks cannot technically be painted amidships so because of these reasons the draft marks need to be shifted little bit whatever minimum is required now if it is so then whatever draft we read off from draft markings will need to be corrected so that the observed draft can be converted into draft at the forward perpendicular observed draft aft can be converted into draft at after perpendicular and midship draft observed can be converted into draft amidships now these corrections are given in tables in our stability booklet or they can be simply calculated by ratio and proportion method which we'll learn when we do the draft survey the draft readings that we obtain eventually why do we need to know them the draft readings are used to basically enter the hydrostatic tables and obtain against that draft the hydrostatic particulars of the ship including the displacement so draft is very very important because you will all the hydrostatic particulars are tabulated against the draft including the displacement also draft of the ship helps us in knowing the minimum depth of water required for the ship to remain afloat and preventing it from running aground how are the drafts marked what is the size of the markings the markings are in present day ship as already said is in meters and decimeters or you can say meters and centimeters the main meter marks are marked in numbers and followed by capital m such as 8m representing 8 meter mark 9m representing 9 meter mark and 10m representing 10 meter mark the lower edge of each mark represents its true level now each of these mark markings would have a certain height now when they have a certain height then which point of these markings represents their true level so the true level will be represented by the lower edge of each marking please remember that now as you can see in this diagram coming up here if here is the water level if this is the marking and this represents maybe 8 meters of ship's draft mark then 8m would be written like this so that lower edge of 8m is representing the 8 meter mark if we go 1 meter from here we'll reach 9 meter mark so this is the 9 meter mark and 9m would be written like here so that the lower edge of 9m represents the 9 meter mark obviously as we go below 8 meters we'll have 7 6 5 and so on and as we go up these markings will keep increasing in between the metric marks metric marks are these 8 meters 9 meters 10 meters and these markings in between the metric marks are the numeral markings such as 2 4 6 and 8 which indicate 20 centimeters 40 centimeters 60 centimeters and 80 centimeters the height of each of these markings is 10 centimeters or one decimeter and the space between two consecutive marks is also 10 centimeters what does it mean the height of this 8m as you can see here is 10 centimeters then there is a 10 centimeter of gap and now we have the numeral coming in here the lower edge of this representing 8.2 meters why because 10 centimeters plus 10 centimeters so from this lower edge of 8 meters to lower edge of this two numeral 2 is 20 centimeters so here the level will become 8.2 again the height of the mark is 
10 centimeters with the gap another gap of 10 centimeters then we have 4 height 10 centimeters gap of 10 centimeters we have 6 again height of 10 centimeters gap of 10 centimeters we have numeral 8 which is again 10 centimeters in height and 10 centimeters of gap taking us to 9 meter mark and like the 8 meter mark 9 meter mark is also 10 centimeters in height i hope uh, it's clear to you if the water is in line with the lower edge of 8 meter like here the draft would be 8 meters if the water is in line with the top edge of 8 meters it would be 8 meters plus 10 centimeters the level be will become 8.1 meters and this is how the draft draft of the ship would then be read now let us practice reading of draft by taking few examples here we have the draft marks actually on the side of a ship which have come up on the, your screen we have already learned that height of each of these markings is 10 centimeters the spacing is another 10 centimeters and these are painted in light color if the ship has a dark background and they are painted in dark color if the ship has a light background so that they are highly visible conspicuous and we can be read from a distance now what happens if the water let's take few examples what happens if the water level is here obviously this lower part will be all immersed in water so you'll start seeing from top you'll see this is seven meter and you find it in line with the lower edge of seven meters so the draft here would be seven meters what do you think is the level here everything below this water line would be submerged in water what do you see you see two just at the water line and as you come up you see seven meters here so basically if this is seven meters then this would be 6.2 meters and therefore the draft here is 6.20 meters you will basically read it with respect to the numeral which is above the water level because whatever is below the water level would be submerged in the water what happens if the water level happens to be here yes we'll if we look up we'll find eight meters so that means this would be seven point something and here it is six and what do we see it's in top line with four so obviously you'll have eight meters above this so from there we'll get the reference of the meter so this mark would become 7.5 7.50 meters what happens if the water line is here this is seven meters so obviously this will be six point something it had it been in line with the top of six mark it would be 6.70 meters but it is about half of it is out of water so this will become 6.65 meters of draft let's take the last example if the water level happens to be here and again you'll see the eight meter mark on top from there you'll come you'll say this is 7.3 it would have been here and if you see about eight centimeters of two numeral two is above the water leaving another two centimeters immersed in water so this level will become 7.22 meters so please remember you will be basically reading the drafts with respect to the markings which are visible above the water surface because whatever is below the water surface may not be visible to you some of them may be visible depending on the clarity of the water and I hope this has given you some idea of as to how you'll read the draft. Another thing on draft reading before we close it out, that these water levels have been taken as they would be in the calm, flat, glassy seas. If you have choppy seas in which draft has to be read, you need to develop expertise. There are different techniques people use. If you keep looking at the draft marks, despite the way, uh, fluctuating level there would always be a certain temporary calm momentary calm in that momentary calm if you see you can read the draft marks then some people read the highest and the lowest and average it out as long as your draft reading is effective 
you can use whichever way you find yourself comfortable with but please remember you need to develop expertise and proficiency of reading the draft not only in calm seas but also in slight choppy seas thank you for watching the marine gurukul video series if you have any feedback or you need further support please do write to us on marine gurukul at gmail.com for future updates we suggest and recommend that you subscribe to our channel thank you very much for watching marine gurukul video series